91.3 WLVR. Steve, are you with us? I'm with you. How are you, Fritz? Okay, uh, you're on here with uh, the Metal Man Slam and Sam on WLVR. We're going to talk a little bit about the upcoming show on Saturday night at Steel Stacks. Slam and Sam? Yeah. All right, I like it. All right, that's good. <laughs> Yep, that's that's my nickname from uh, way back in the day, the air, airport music hall days. Yeah, I was going to say, I know Bethlehem, it's close to Allentown. I remember that big old, it was like an old grocery store that they revamped into a into a nightclub. I remember that place well. Yes, absolutely, uh, 40,000 square feet, nothing like it. It was uh, ahead of its time, I think, musically. But um, Yep, it was huge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was huge. And boy, did we have a lot of fun back then. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about kicks and uh, Good idea. okay. Well, I got a got a couple questions here for you. Uh, All right, go ahead. Uh, you know, last couple of years since I last talked to you when you were in Funny Money, um, kicks has been going all over the country with with some of these festivals. Um, l- tell our listeners why there is a demand for a band like Kicks right now. You know, I wish the hell I knew. <laughs> Honestly, it just seems like there's a there's a, a revival of the '80s music that was once blackballed and flushed. It seems like it's uh, it's okay to like it again. And we started off slowly, just in our area, just playing like the Baltimore, Washington, uh, local Hagerstown shows. And then we hired this agent who begged me to give him an opportunity. He guaranteed me he could get us out to these festivals and playing all over the country once again. And slow but sure, he was right and I was wrong, and that's why we're back in it. Uh, another question here. What is it uh, about the bond between Kicks and your fans in Pennsylvania? What is it about the what? The bond you guys have. You guys oh, are I, always playing up here. I thought you said the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pennsylvania fans, have uh, they've always taken us under their wing. and it, it started in Harrisburg and Central PA, and it just branched out from there, going out to uh, Sealand Grove and Sunbury and, and and it just kept spreading out. So they've just, uh, they've always kind of adopted us, and we've loved them for it. Okay. Um, another another question here. Uh, somebody made me aware of this. I really didn't know it. Uh, you were a vocal coach for Lizzie from Hailstorm? Yeah, I've been teaching vocals for about 15 years, and I, I teach up in Harrisburg every week. And Lizzie's mom brought her in when she was probably about 13 or 14. She had... She had all the tools, but she just didn't know how to project it. So I worked with her for maybe a year or more, and by the time she left, she was she was singing heart like heart. So I knew she was fine, and and lo and behold, she turned out pretty darn good. Look at that band now! Oh my! Yeah, yeah, they're killer. Oh yeah, I, me being up there in age, I I have an appreciation for their music. They have this '80s feel to them, you know. Oh, they definitely do. I, I, and you can tell that was that's what Lizzie liked. And, and when she was bringing songs into me that she was writing, it had that feel back then. And, and it's just evolved and gotten better and stronger. Yes, sir. It's uh, definitely, definitely uh, good music by them. Um, some, other, some other questions here. Sure. Um, in, in the past, when you guys were on Atlantic Records and stuff, um, you put out all them records and... Yep. You guys ever have any throwaway tracks that nobody ever heard? Oh, tons. In fact, um, there's there's a bootleg out. It's called Thunderground. It's probably got eight or probably ten or even more uh, B-side cuts that never made it to record. Somebody got hold of them somehow, unbeknownst to the band, yeah. and put it out there. And it's, it's, I guess it's still available. I have somebody to get me one, so I have one. <laughs> I've been, I'll tell you, though, I've been looking high and low for, for kick CDs, and they're just not easy to find. They're not, and you know what? You're better off. I mean, I know a lot of people still don't do it, but to download on iTunes is where you get everything now. iTunes or you know some kind of a digital download. Because you're right. When when we left Atlantic Records, it seems like they just let the um, they let all the records and all the CDs and and all of our uh, history just dry up. And then we went to CMC for one album, and same thing there. They just the the appeal was gone. The 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 buying was, was just done. It had just dried up, so they just stopped making them. Well, I think uh, somebody's got to come out with some kind of retrospective. <laughs> Maybe it's time for us to do it ourselves. You're right. I would buy it. Yeah, I, you know, you're right. Although Atlantic did release something 
I forget what the hell it was called. It was it was like a best of kicks, um, maybe about eight or nine years ago. But I've never I've never bought one. Of course, I would have to buy it and I'd be able to give me one. So as far as uh, gigs and gigs are concerned, I noticed on your website that you got to run a dates with White Snake out in uh, Southwest. Yeah, we're doing that in early August, I believe. Um, we did a we did a tour with them when uh, Blow My Fuse was hitting really big, and we hit it off. And uh, they uh, we just did a show with them once again at Merriweather in Baltimore. And lo and behold, they asked us to come join us for a few shows in August. Can we expect more dates to be added? I, I don't know. I think at this point we're doing uh, we're doing a lot of dates this year, more than we've ever done as kicks in a long time. So we may we may have to put a cap on it and look at it next year because everybody. Still has lives, jobs. Uh, we still have funny money going strong, so it's not easy to fit it all in at this point. Gotcha, gotcha. So, Steve, thank you for calling in to us. Uh, we won't, we won't keep you on too long. Um, any last words about the Saturday show? Well, I just appreciate you uh, inviting me on, and, and it's been a while since we've been to the area. I think we were, we were, in, we were in Allentown maybe a little over a year ago. It's the last time, so I'm really hoping that the people come out and. Uh, come out and support us, and we, you know, we usually put on a, a pretty energetic, uh, fun show, so hopefully uh, we'll be on our game and we'll come out and have a great time. Well, I plan on coming, a bunch of people... Uh, okay, then I'll be there, too. <laughs> hey, if you see the guy down front with all the beers, just ignore him for a while. For how long? I don't know, until he opens his mouth. <laughs> okay, <laughs> done. <laughs> Deal. Well, uh, that was uh, Steve Whiteman from Kicks this Saturday night. Steel Stacks, uh, Arts Quest Cafe. Be there or be square, so to say. Amen. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna play a couple uh, Kicks tracks, and uh, Steve, if you could hold on for a second. Sure. Steve, are you with us? I'm with you. 